This afternoon, the recruiting decision that both Louisville and Kentucky fans have been waiting for for months was finally revealed. DJ Wagner, the grandson of Louisville great Milt Wagner, announcing on social media that he's committed to Kentucky. Sports director Ken Spencer joins us now with how it all happened and what this means for the Wildcats. We're so used to the ceremony, the the fake, uh, you know, reach for a fake hat, put the real hat on. Didn't happen. Just a simple Instagram post. And you know what? He's not just committed. He has actually already signed. And this recruitment really has been under wraps for some time. And most people thought in this recruitment that DJ Wagner was always considered a Kentucky lock. That is until Kenny Payne was hired at Louisville. And then his grandfather, Milt Wagner, was also hired at Louisville to be on Payne's staff. All that completely put the rest today when he committed. Here's what John Calipari had to say about DJ Wagner. Quote, I have known DJ his entire life and I've always wanted to coach him. Above all, he is a competitor. I love the spirit. He'll bring the practice every day and I love that he wanted to be at Kentucky. He knows that to get the best of himself, he needs to be surrounded by other talented players who are going to match his competitive energy. End quote. DJ Wagner is the number one overall recruit in the class of 2023. He played this past summer here in Louisville at an AAU event and here's what former U of L great Purvis Ellison, who runs his AAU team, had to say about it. When you have that Wagner name, that's got a lot of pressure on it in, in itself. So, but that young man is the sky's the limit. He works extremely hard and he's focused. I've never seen someone that young that focused. That separates him from a lot of the other kids. This is a young man that gets up every day and at some point during the day, he's going to have an activity that's going to better him as a basketball player. With the addition of Wagner, Kentucky has cemented the fact that they will have the number one recruiting class in the country for the first time since 2015. Well, we've been talking about his grandfather, of course, the famed Milt Wagner, now works for UofL basketball. So was UofL ever DJ's number one pick? No, I don't think, it, I don't think Louisville was ever his number one pick. I don't even think there was actually a decision to be made by DJ Wagner. I think that Louisville tried to get involved in the recruiting process because that's what you need to do if you're Kenny Payne and if you're Milt Wagner, his grandfather. And I think they did. I think they put a, a pretty good foot forward, but I think he was always going. This is a young man who, you know, a lot of people forget, you know, they think of Milt Wagner, grandfather. Well, his brother is on Kentucky's roster. A former teammate of his at Camden, New Jersey, Lance Ware, is also on Kentucky's roster. His dad played for John Calipari at Memphis. Milt Wagner coached with John Calipari at Memphis. So the family ties also run strong on the other side of this as well. Certainly a lot of family ties there to Kentucky, but what else was the big draw for him to make that decision? I, I mean, I just think that the familiarity with John Calipari and that, I mean, there's a story about Dewan Wagner when he was playing for John Calipari at, at Memphis. He wanted to come back for a second year. Calipari rips up his scholarship and says, nope, you're going on to the NBA. He does, signs a deal in the NBA, and then next thing you know, his knees give out on him in the NBA. If he doesn't make that move, he's not financially stable. The Wagners have always looked at John Calipari favorable in that. You know, Calipari says, look, DJ Wagner, I've known him my entire life. DJ Wagner has been going to camps at Kentucky since he was a little kid. So, I mean, this is kind of one of those things all come to fruition. Now, that, that picture we showed of uh, DJ Wagner in a Kentucky uniform, that was the actual post he put on Instagram. Of course, as you said, he, he photoshopped the yeah, uniform. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that happens all the time. These, these, things, get, these things get photoshopped. Um, it's amazing what you can do with a couple clicks of the mouse. <laughs> <laughs> all right, any big reaction you're hearing so far to this? I mean, I think Kentucky fans are excited. But honestly, I think from the Louisville side of things, I think people – from there, they moved on probably months ago when they kind of realized that they may not have really had a shot in this recruitment. Mm -hmm. And you look, you go on and you try to get players that, that you can get. And Kenny Payne and, and the rest of his staff will go and do just that. All right. Thank you very much, Kent.